hi everyone and thank you guys so much again for clicking on today's video my name is simi if this is your first time i hope that you will find something on this channel that you would like and come back again to my returning i thank you guys so much for, for clicking on another video thank everyone for subscribing and watching the videos each and every day so in today's video we're going to be making some garlic and herb pork chops and i'm going to be doing this in my air fryer now if you want to do it on um in your oven you can do so i would suggest um about 400 degrees and about the same time 30 minutes okay so for our ingredients i have some three cloves of garlic i have some um thyme i have a, a good amount of time let's say about five or six um stems of thyme i have um garlic and herb seasoning i got that one from all these i have paprika parsley flakes black pepper uh, garlic powder and i have um and that's it so i'm gonna go ahead and use my dry seasoning i'm gonna use um a half a teaspoon of each of my seasonings and i'm gonna season that and season that on up and then we're gonna put it in the air fryer For my, for my dry seasoning, my paprika, my um, black pepper, my parsley flakes, and garlic powder, I'm going to do a tables, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of each of those seasoning. For my garlic and herb seasoning, I will be using um, one and a half tablespoon to two tablespoon of the So we just want to go ahead and get our seasoning on there and give it a good mix. I'll be adding... So we're going to go ahead and um, bake them in our air fryer for 30 minutes on 350. If you want to do this higher than 350, you will go ahead and um, adjust the time. And I would check, you know, periodically on it because you don't want it to be, um, you don't want it to cook too fast and dry out, okay? Because pork chops don't take a long time to cook. So I turned them over during my 15 minute interval. Um, and I drained the juices from my pork chops that was in my reserve tray. And I just used that to, to base, pretty much base the, um, pork chops again. Okay. If you want to do that, you can, if you don't want to, that's fine. That, that for me, it helped it to not make the pork chops so dry. Mm -hmm. 
and that's it you guys we're gonna put it back in there for the additional 15 minutes and that's it it's pretty much done it was so tasty and flavorful i really really enjoyed it my husband enjoyed it we all did um, thank you guys so much for watching i hope you give this recipe a try please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and help a sister out bye